We're good. Okay, shit, man. No <laughs> worries. Ladies and gentlemen, Centenary in the building! Yes! Thank you, fellas. I appreciate it. Yeah, sorry. We're, we're a little bit uh, uh, technically impaired at times. It's all good. This, we've had we've had many guests have have issues. It's no problem whatsoever. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. Do me a quick favor. Introduce yourself. Let me know whereabouts in the world you are. Plug and promote anything you'd like. Uh, well, we are, of course, we our band is called Centenary, but that's all right if you say it Centenary because people say it different all the time. <laughs> I'm Al. My bad. I do the vocals. This is Mike. He plays guitar and he kind of pieces together most of our good ideas and the uh, and the uh, the songs. It's whatever. <laughs> so Mike's Mike's the brains, the brains behind the operation. He is. He is. He's, sure. He's the 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 mad uh, the mad chemist mixing everything together. Hell yeah, I love that. It looks like you got some autographs in the background on some basketballs <laughs> back there. Uh yeah, I got uh, uh the Melvins. I, I <laughs> love. Basketball. Well, you could you oh, could it's cool. You could call out all the autographs, <laughs> but I was particularly curious about the basketballs. Basketballs are from uh, I, I teach middle school, and so those are from my middle school. They're not signed or anything. They're just basketballs from my school. We do a fundraiser each year to raise money for cancer and lymphoma and stuff. Oh, that's so awesome. I get basketballs every year. That's awesome. That's very Sweet. cool. Teaching the young ones, I love it. Well, gentlemen, yeah. thanks for thanks for joining today. JB is my co-host, yeah, aka JB Music. But uh, so so nice tell me, tell guys. me, uh, how long has uh, has the band been together for? How did you guys form? Give me all the backstory. Uh, by November of 2024, conveniently, <laughs> we will be together for ten years. Ten years. That's awesome. Hell yeah! Congratulations. Same Thank same you. lineup as it's always been. Oh no, no, that never happens. No. <laughs> It's I've gone through what? What have we gone through? About fifteen, uh, motherfucker. Well, it, it you know some a little bit longer, some a little bit less, but um, no hard feelings, of course. Yeah, we uh, we we you know just like anything, you gotta you gotta decide what works and what doesn't work, and then um, you stick with what works. And and right now, we think we got the right kind of recipe, man. So I love we're, it. Uh, that's what we're doing. What are you guys yeah. burning? Are you yeah. doing uh, indica, sativa, or hybrid right now? Uh, I think it's what you what 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 technically would be called a hybrid, but it's uh it, it, we just call it fancy. Yeah, <laughs> we just call it weed. It's called zookies. <laughs> I can dig it for sure. It's called, Zookie. it's called zookies. It's grown here, you know. Tell me, tell me how you guys start a song from scratch. What is your writing process of how you how you create a new song? Shall I take this? Yeah, it's kind of different at different times, but uh, Mike, uh, Mike's kind of the the dude, so he would be the one to answer. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, necessity is the mother of invention, and inspiration can be onset <laughs> when you're when you're sitting in the john for crying out loud. You know, it's it's a, uh, it's 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 weird. It's like. I don't know. It's like a lot of the inspiration for stuff is like from from at least my childhood, you know. And uh, name some bands. Name some bands that even just made you want to like pick up a guitar in the first place. Oh, all right. We'll get. We'll get. It won't be that long winded for me. He's the guitar player. I just scream. Uh, for me, well, let's see here now. No particular order, believe it or not. Uh, oh my God. He hates all guitar players. The reason I'm, the reason I ask is I see I'm, the Melvins I'm, in the background, but you guys have some like brutal heavy stuff. So I feel like there's a little bit of Melvins influence, but there's some like classic heavy heavy stuff that's kind of influenced it. Everything kind of starts with like you know the the rock and roll and the heaviness, and then as the years go on, it gets you look for something that's heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier, and it's just kind of like you know that's kind of you know where we go and how we get to this point. I mean, we've been both doing, you know, we've been alive for quite some time. So, 
you know, Metallica was never played on the radio when we were growing up and Metallica was like as heavy as it gets. And, and now, you know, you look at it and they're just, uh, you know, they're, they're heavy, but they're not really heavy compared to all the other things that are out there. Right. It's, it's the, it's the constant search for the heavier thing. You know, it's a, I don't, I don't want to get like too technical about it, but it's a unique thing in all its own. It, it, in essence, it's like for me, and I think it's pretty close for him too, but it's like early onset of like Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden, when I was a very, very little kid, was like the shit. And then uh, I found a copy of Ride the Lightning at my house. My sister had it. That changed things. But then like Rain and Blood was the one that really said, you know, I was, I was like, yeah, I'm going to start really getting into things and playing. But that's for me. And then, you know, a couple of years go by and everything else like that. And then there's this whole new wave of music that pops out, 88, 89. If you guys aren't familiar, I'll, I'll go the Earache catalog. Uh, we emulate a pretty predominant band that's from the Earache catalog. Yeah. And and and, keep, and tuned. And, you yeah. Know, they, they have they kind of developed this own style of, of like this Swedish death metal. Yeah. And so you have this band who's like in, called Entombed, and then there's a handful of others like uh, Dismember and and Grave and Unleashed and uh, Asphyx, and then you know those that style because like death metal might just be death metal to might all sound the same to certain people, but like you know all this music there's subgenres here and there, so they kind of created their own little sound amongst a lot of these death metal bands that sound the same, so we kind of like. We really like that sound, and so we we use it, and then we kind of put our own influence on it, write our own words. So it's not like we're we're really ripping them off. It's more of a <laughs> tipping of the tipping of the cap, yeah, so to yeah, speak, is yeah. what we like to try. Paying to respects, do. paying homage. I, I dig that. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah paying homage that. to the blueprint, which is Entomb's first record, Left Hand Path. Arguably That's one of the best, w- one of the all time, the the best ever. example. I got you. JB, uh, what questions do you have for the fellas before we uh, dive into some trivia? So I heard that uh, you teach at a middle school. I currently am studying to be a teacher, and I'm totally interested on what subject you currently teach. I teach, well, I I, uh, mostly teach social studies and basically history. I've taught science. Um, All I can say, man, is like, dude, you better be sure you want to do it, man, because, uh, you know, I've, I've done it for 21 years. And like I'm, I'm ready to retire right now. And, <laughs> Understandable. And, and people that are coming in, I'm like, I sure hope you have a lot of patience and energy, man, because it's, uh, it's weird. <laughs> Definitely, I, them, them youngins, them youngins are ruthless. Exactly. He does, the, he does the rim shot. That's beautiful. I love that. By the way. <laughs> so, Please so continue. the your your. I'm sorry, JB. Did you have a follow up? Oh, I, I was going to say that uh, for the last couple of years, I've been working in a, a severe autism class, and I can understand the the amount of patience that you you are talking about that we need to have. So <laughs> I commend I, you. you know what, to, to do something like that, that's that's I feel even more noble. You know, that's really cool. But again, and, and it's it's more focused. I know it can be more wild. You probably don't have the funds. You don't have the resources. You don't have a lot of things. But you got it's more of a kind of a pinpoint focus and you probably don't have a lot of kids so you can kind of be more one on one. And that's probably a little bit more rewarding and you can probably see more uh, progress than, you know, like I, I'll have 120 kids a year or more and, you know, maybe 10 or 15 show a visible because either they're there already or they're not. It's I don't know, man. Good luck, dude. I, I don't want to say don't do it. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> We're rooting for you. We're rooting for you, JB. Appreciate it, y'all. Yeah, our, our buddy from Temple of Void, he uh, he does it with adults. Yep. And um, he, he loves it. He loves his job. and, and he's, Jeff Huberti, too, the guy that plays bass in Hellmouth. And then it's Jeff also a uh, yeah. uh, uh, special needs teacher. Yeah, there's a there's a been, lot of been that as long as I've known him, and that's over 25 years. There's a lot of dudes out there. They, uh, like one of the guys from uh, Neurosis, all is, good dudes, is, by is the a way, teacher. Um, the lead singer from At the Gates, I believe, is like a third grade teacher. Um, really? The guy from Rosetta is a teacher. So I I think there's there's kind of a lot of uh, 
I don't know, when, when you're teaching, you kind of get a lot of ideas, you know, in society or whatever topics you teach. And, and so some of our songs kind of bleed into history because that's kind of what that's I That's what he, yeah, yeah, he brings that into the band lyrically. Yeah, so, you know, when, when we're... Not... Or gives us a fucked up con- concept to go off of, you know. <laughs> All right, yeah. is it okay to cuss? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> no. You know, I mean, you're smoking. already you're already smoking weed on camera, so what's 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 a curse yeah, word? Yeah, but I'm in Michigan. I don't give a fuck. You know, it's legal here. <laughs> anyway, to make a long story short, yeah. So that aspect has been bled into the band as well, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, See, and that, that kind of back to the, the first part of you asking, how do we write our songs? Yeah. So it's like we got okay. Let 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 me give you an instance, right? On our album, there's uh, a song about the movie Phantasm. There's a song about the movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind. There's a movie, uh, what's the other one? Yeah, it's right there. Available on CDN Records out of Canada. Hell That's yeah. That's our pro- first full-length record from them. Yeah. I have, I have a Phantasm story in a bit, too. Right on, right on. Dude, see, and it's beautiful because uh, the very first, the Entombed album we were talking about, they have a Phantasm part in one of their songs, and it's like, it's just kind of like this unspoken connection that we all have, right? You know, and, and it does have to do with, like, you know, sci-fi movies horror movies weird history just like you know oddball kind of shit you know and then we just kind of write these stories using this kind of death metal style and this guy just he comes up with these parts and it's like shit sounds cool and then sometimes he'll have i got this part and then i don't know and then we kind of maybe work on it together or he comes in, he's like, okay, this is the first part, this is the second part, and then we just do this, and then we just, you know, we kind of mold around it. Right. Our drummer's written a couple of songs straight through, which is cool. Our lead guitarist has as well. Our lead guitarist has, you know, I mean, I write all the time. <coughs> the longer anybody's in the band, the more of a contribution is actually happening. I don't have to all do it all my fucking self. You know? it's, yeah. it's just really good to have like a motor. I have no problem with that. I'm just trying to say, though. He's got a motor, and it, and he just he, he keeps on cranking out really cool ideas and, and shit that sounds good. And we all just kind of, it all it, it all just works, man. It's it's really cool, you know? It's kind of fun. Oh, ding. and there's a ding. We got a ding. Hello, whoever that is. <laughs> the ding means that uh, you said it was all, it all works together when the motor's running. It all, it all fuses, so I hit the ding button. The ding. Oh, right on. See? So, so yeah. your, your band name means to celebrate a hundred year anniversary, does it not? Yeah, what, absolutely. What inspired you look, to- Look at us, dude. We're a bunch of old fucks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was wondering why why you picked that as the band name. I don't know. It sounded cool. It looked cool, and it was something old. And that's basically what we are. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it. In. You know, he came up with it. And it's just kind of like it. It it sounds cool. It doesn't sound like you know, bleeding guts out your eyeballs. It's not something silly like you know. What was what was that whatever. one? What was that fucking one that he said earlier? This this smells like animals doing something. What was the name of that band? The you sounds the sounds of animals fighting. Yeah, the sounds of animals fighting. Right, I, like right when you said that, I looked at him and I'm like, dude, what, what do you think that sounds like? I mean, you know, we just kind of played off it. That's fucking hilarious. So yeah, they're, they're actually a super group. That's a super group. They're like, there's oh, like mem- members of like six, seven other bands. Um, RX Bandits, Circus Survive, Chiados, couple and a bunch of other people. Oh, all right. That's cool. Interesting. And again, and, Very and cool. Again, the, the way that bands come up with their uh, their names is, oh. is, is kind of interesting. Sometimes it's like long like that, you know, clinging to the trees of a, of a of forest, forest fire. fire. Yeah, that's a good one. I mean, one. like, you know, that's cool. But like, you know, we're or just... successful right apocalypse across the sky. That's my favorite. <laughs> that's my fucking favorite. And that band is disgusting. What, oh, one, one, word, one word bands are kind of, you know, I, I kind of like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> smells like, I just wanted to. You said, you said it smells like animals did something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. You know? No, that's hilarious. So, fellas, I want to do some trivia with you. Did you bring the hot sauce? You know what? No. Give me the. You could. You can introduce. Start right now, and I'm gonna run upstairs real quick. Go get it. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, well, uh, while while he's before you grab it, I need yeah. to look up trivia. Can you pick a movie or TV show that you've seen the most? Or if I look up trivia on this movie or TV show. If you guys could agree on one, um, I'm gonna try and stump you. Let's do it. Yeah, I mean, you, whatever you what? want. What? What? Kolchak? It might be a little bit much because there's a bunch of episodes. Uh, we could do like Salem's Lot. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. Yeah, Salem's Lot, the original. 
the seventies uh, David Soul starring Salem's Lot movie, please. Okay. And I'll get the hot sauce. I'm gonna look up some Salem's Lot trivia, which I've never had anyone request, so it's gonna take me a second. Um, JB, hit him with another question if you could. Stephen King Salem's Lot, correct? Yes. Okay. What is one weird? I, I, well, I wouldn't say weird. What is one hobby that you have? You wouldn't expect us to think you have. It still revolves around music, but like I'm a I'm an uh, '80s new wave nerd. Oh, you know, like uh, Flock Seagulls. Yeah. Uh, even even the Human League. I mean. All that fucking crazy ass shit. All right, I got a couple things of this right here. We're good. We got some hot sauce. That's what we got. It counts. It counts. <laughs> Taco Bell pack. <laughs> it totally counts. Hell That's yeah. what Lizzie said. So I was like, all right, cool, man. That's fine. I think I have some Salem Lots trivia. I can't tell if it's based from the book or the movie, but I'm guessing that the, I mean, the show is adapted sure from the book. Good. Yeah. So it should be it's, accurate. I, this might backfire horribly. It might. We're going to try. Let's see if I can stop you. Here we go. In Salem's Lot, who is, what is the name of the very first child to disappear? It's, um, Ralphie. Oh, yeah, it's Ralphie. Ralphie Glick. I think it's Ralphie. Yeah, Ralphie Glick. It is 100% Ralphie Glick. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Well done. We're going to spin the wheel for you. I got to do the hot sauce. I'm super zoomed in. You guys just won a t-shirt from us. Bruh. Oh, nice. You just won a t-shirt. Oh, do me a favor, when we're done with this, message me on Instagram or, or Facebook and give me uh, a, a size and uh, your shipping info, and I'll get that sent out uh, probably early next week for you. Cool, man. That is awesome, though. Congratulations. Yeah, and, uh, I'll win our next show, man. Hell yeah. That Badass. Uh, let's see. So I have to look up another one to try and send you because that always pisses me off when that happens. So I'm going to do I'm going to do some of the hot sauce real quick. Uh, what can we expect from you guys the rest of the year? Do we have another single in the works coming out? Is there just shows going down, social media promoting? What do you have planned? Yeah, we, so like we don't really do singles, I guess. I don't know. But like we're working on new songs. Um, our goal was to have a song written by the end of the year or even recorded by the end of the year. It's probably not, not a song, an album. Album, album. That's what I meant. Sorry. Um, it's probably not going to happen, but we're, we're still kind of hoping for that. Um, we want to have something uh, recorded and out, um, you know, first of the year, hopefully, very beginning of the year. So who does we got who does all the production when you guys do get the recordings done? Our, our record la our record label, you know, pretty much puts everything together. Well, what do you, what do you mean by production? You like, mean, like, uh, like who is the actual name of the producer? I know the, the label is funding the bill, but, like, who's the guy that's, um, you're, like, you know, telling... His, his name is Jeff Virgils. He's actually our uh, Swiss Army knife. He's been in the band as a drummer and a guitarist fill-in. Yeah, he records uh, our he stuff. He recorded our stuff as well. He, he's a great drummer. He's a great musician, guitar player. He does it all. And it was mastered at Mount Doom Studios by uh, Clyde uh, Wilson. Good old Clyde. And... uh studio a lot of stuff comes out of there temple of void gets their stuff done there etc etc a lot a lot, lot, lot of good detroit bands have their stuff mastered or recorded at mount doom clyde knows his shit and uh yeah he's old school man he's he's good deal do you guys have any phobias anything that freaks you out uh not anymore man <laughs> I, I i i always kind of worried all the time so i don't really have a a uh uh an extreme one it's kind of a little bit of everything so like i just am worried about everything <laughs> i'm the i'm the exact opposite not, not i'm not scared of anything <laughs> yeah I, i'm the exact opposite i just i literally just don't give a fuck there you go <laughs> i have never seen cherry rc cola but at the same time i rarely see rc cola 
I've never yeah. had the cherry version. I got to get it. Well, it's made it's made in Chicago, and for some strange reason, they made cherry now. Yeah, so it's a Fuck new it. flavor. Mm. Pardon? It's a new flavor. Like they didn't always make cherry. No. Oh okay. no, no, no. It's just cola. Just cola. Right. Reminds me of uh, I used to go to sleepaway camp. The options were cheer wine or RC cola. Right. Those were my soda options. So right that's on. that's where I first tried those. Um, JB, do you have another question for the for the fellas? Uh, what is? Oh, uh, well, actually, let's just simplify the question. Um, is there any shows planned for the rest of this year, or any events you can tell us about? Someone... Yeah, we got two. We only got two. There's one at the end of September. Uh, in a place called is it Taylor? It's in Taylor, Michigan, called Road Rangers. With uh, yeehaw, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Super yeehaw part of town too, man. But it's but like it's a, a little metal bar heaven. Yeah, yeah. It's you know, you know those little places that just they got a bull. Here. They got a bull in the bar that moves and everything. It's no, no, bars. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's not overtly <laughs> yeehaw, but uh, you know, yeah, we uh, it's 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 that part of town where those folk are common. <laughs> that's cool. But there's a crowd, which is fine. Yeah, that's fine. But there's a crowd. And it's a nice place, and uh, two cool bands, Mortal Disguise and Hate Unbound. Hate Unbound plays a lot of shows um, there it is. around, you know, Ohio, Indiana, New York. They toured yeah. with Castrator. They toured with this cool band, Castrator. So they're 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 good friends of ours, and so we're playing with them. And then November fourth, we're playing in Hamtramck at a place called the Sanctuary, and uh, the headlining band is this band called Finality. Um, the 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 singer was one of featuring the, members of yeah. Battle Cross. Yeah, yeah. The singer is a guitar player for Battle Cross. I don't know if you're familiar with them. They're kind of one of our. Don't bigger, Huron play guitar in the band too? He used to. Yeah. Oh, he used to. All right. He used to. So they're one of the bigger bands that came out around here. You know, Black Dahlia. You know, Battle Cross is kind of one of those. And uh, Mikey Cool's uh, ex bass player from uh, Agents of Man, Sworn Enemy, amongst others. Uh, Coldest Life. Yeah, they uh, he's got a new band, so and they're playing as well. I know you guys don't know any of these people we're talking about. No, I know, I know, Sworn Enemy. <laughs> if, our, if our friends are watching, they know. <laughs> uh, Plus, actually, well, Chad wants to know. Chad wants to know. Lizzie specifically wants to know. How do you know Detroit Voodoo and Tommy? Have you guys jammed with them before? She set me up to answer this question. I wasn't going to say anything, but I've known Tommy a long time because he was my former student. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how I, that's how I heard about you guys because I saw that he was doing stuff, you know, through De Detroit Voodoo, and uh, we've kind of kept in touch over the years. Um, he came back to the middle school after he graduated, and he looked like he was in, you know, Black Veil Brides or whatever. And I was like, <laughs> man, dude, I'm like, you're rocking out now. And so we just kind of kept in touch. So, uh, so yeah, so I saw him doing this, and so that's when I, you know, kind of jumped on. I thought, well, you guys are doing cool, and you know, I, I was like, dude, I'll support that. And so I'm like, you know, that it's cool that you have us on and, you know, give us the time. Thank and, you. You know, just appreciate it, guys. Just oh, yeah. Thank seems, you. Uh, Thank you. For coming know, on. That's badass. Really cool you guys got going on. It's not time to go yet, though, because I got another trivia question for you. And I feel like this one could be the stuff. <laughs> At least I hope it is. In Dang Salem's it. Lot, <laughs> what is the name of the dog that is killed and hung on the cemetery fence? Fuck. Kind of a normal dog name. I I I wonder if Jim would know. It's it's it's. it's like, <laughs> can we have a call in? Yeah, can we get a, a phone a friend? I I think it's something like Buddy or something. Buddy or ah uh, fuck. Grundy? 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 Yeah, no, uh, I don't. I can't remember. Off the top I, I think of it's. Uh, he might have got us. I he did because we'll I call think it. It's a, we'll call it a stump. But before I tell you the answer. I'm gonna give you a hint to see if we get uh, give you one more shot. It belonged to Win Puritan. Win Purit Puritan was the owner of the dog. If that helps. Win Puritan. Is it Winnie. That might be it. Winnie. That is not it. Enjoy the hot sauce, fellas. Enjoy the Taco Bell hot sauce. Me and well, JB. You tell us the answer first. The answer yeah. was Doc. Damn it. Doc was the name I'll of the dog right there. Uh, so 
I'll do some hot sauce with you. I'm going to do some of this. Well, not that one. Gross. I've never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> not that one. Well, yeah, not that one. I grabbed oh. the ancho, the ancho masala, and that one's that one's death. Ooh. I'm gonna do some of this um, this mule sauce that was sent to me. You guys got fucking way blows, right? I well, I have a sensitive stomach because yeah, I'm a we old because I'm because <laughs> I'm a teacher and I stress Ooh. out all the time. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, that, I don't want to make that face you just made, dude. Jim is in chat, by the way. He got it. So had we phoned him, we would have got we would have got suckered, and you would have got. Jim it right. got it. He got it. He's in chat right he? now. Yeah. Jim knew. Yeah. He knew. He's it. our bass player. Yeah, that's our bass player. Yeah. Hi, Jim. Shout out to Hi. Jim. Well done. Uh, yeah. Fellas, we only have time for a couple more questions, but I, I want to ask two serious ones. Okay. One one that you said you'd, uh, you're about to be on 10 years in the band. Surely at yeah. some point, you guys have made a couple mistakes. All bands do. We would like to know what those mistakes were, as if there's there's um, some local artists that may be watching right now that may not, may not know, and we don't want them to make these mistakes. So it's like an sure. advice segment. Sure. All right. This, this, we, we talk about this all the time. <laughs> this, this is how I... Oh, shit. Whoops. That's okay. The I'm RC, no! No, 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 no. I almost dropped the weed off the fucking... Oh, it's even yeah. worse. That's even worse. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what I want to say is this. Like, I've been playing in bands since... 95. I was going to no. say, no, excuse me, 90, 25 years. Yeah, 95. I started my first band in 1995 called Grievance. Years. Yeah. And then after that, I uh, four years, I took a hiatus for a little while, started up another project called All Creation Wept. And that was for four, five, six years, if memory serves me right. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm, I'm telling them. I'm telling them how it works. <laughs> What's the advice? The advice is, is that during the course of all the beginnings of all this stuff, and I'm, I was being long-winded, sorry. <laughs> all right. During the course of all this time that I have spent doing band after band and after band, it's like I always tried to to get it to go and and you know be prosperous and fruitful. And back in the early days, it was difficult to do that. I didn't know exactly how to do it. I didn't know how to get the music out. I mean, you could make stuff and pass it out amongst everybody that you know but uh you can mail it to people but that's neither here nor there you know uh it was always about trying to get on a record label and when you're younger you're hungrier and you're like yeah i want to go see the fucking united states of america i want to go in the fucking back of a van and play fucking music every night you mm -hmm. know that's a that's a normal thing to want to do you know mm -hmm. um if i doing it's different yeah right all right, doing it's different. So I've been doing it since 95, and four bands in. Uh, I actually got to go on tour with one of the bands and toured half the United States. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and nowadays, it's like the best advice I could say, if you really want it to succeed, you got to have fun with it. I mean, you literally just have to have the huge load of fun about it. You know what I mean? Fuck everybody's opinions. Fuck everybody's feelings. Uh, just go out there and and do it. Cause we're not getting any fucking younger, you know. That, that, that my advice would be almost the exact same thing. Go if, out and have fun. If it's no not, matter what you do, if it's not fun, then why bother? You know. Mm -hmm. uh, fuck yeah. all the record label bullshit. Fuck it's, all the popularity, it's, it's, even. You know. You know. We we are fortunate that we were popular enough that somebody took us on and and decided to put our shit out. I mean, it was just a fluke. You know what I mean? And for me, it's like full circle. But here I am now. So if I had the same attitude that I put towards the band when I was younger, it might have actually went even further than what I'm doing now. I'm I'm, I'm going to guess. That's the best advice that I could have is have fun. Have a lot of fun. Yeah. And that's why you go through bandmates. <laughs> yeah, because some people just Cause don't know what fun means. It's, you know, it's, sometimes it's, fun... Yeah. Sometimes fun costs money. You know yeah. what I mean? It's yeah. a, it's, it's like, I, I treat it like an overglorified yeah. hobby. We don't make. Money. But I put my heart and fucking blood and fucking money and soul and time and effort and sweat. Yeah. A lot of sweat with our new practice place, which is up in my house, and it's mm -hmm. a hot box. But you know, dude, it don't fucking matter. That's what it's all about. Yeah, dude. If it's not funny, you shouldn't do it. And to yeah. me, that's fun. And it'd be cool to find like like the right kind of dudes to hang out with that you can play with and jam with and be creative with. Because if you don't, 
then you don't. And that's why a lot of bands that you see even bigger bands, you know, that's why people leave, you know, it's, it, it's, not, it's also when some of these guys are coming out and it's, it's just fun. one dude and they're playing all the instruments it's just not fun. and just like fucking blown my fucking mind. And then all of a sudden people like their shit and fucking now they got a full band and they're playing these big metal and beer festival things through decibel magazine. Right. Right. It's just like, Holy shit. Right on. You know, that could have been how I would have took it maybe when I was younger. You never know. You never fucking know. So yeah. Yeah. my best advice, have the most fun with it that you possibly can. Absolutely. That's I'd say it. I'd say that's stellar advice for sure. Got to have is. fun. You got to find it and is. find and find homies that you click with so uh and that, and then are willing to contribute when the when the financial stuff comes up. Right. You know, and and you know, renting the van so that we can play in Buffalo, New York, which we've done several times now. Just this past winter. <laughs> we played a show in uh, we played a show in Buffalo, New York with a band called Ringworm and several others that were really, really good. Uh, Gut, Gut of the Life, right? Yep, yep. Anthropic. Anthropic. Our it, it, was, it was in between blizzards. Yeah, and it was in... We they drove through these... <laughs> Oh, my God. And then they had a I blizzard after? I drove a fucking truck for 17 fucking years, a big, gigantic fucking truck. That was part of my life, man. And I don't ever want to drive in this kind of fucking snow ever again. No, it's brutal. Yeah. Ever. It killed me. It killed me. I so, love those people. So that's another. I piece love of that advice. fucking area of the world, man. But fuck that during the winter. Yeah, no way. Man. Don't 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 tour. Horrible in the winter. You got to stay yeah. safe on the road out there. Well, boys, we are unfortunately are out of time, but you guys are badass, man. We look forward to to the album getting finished, coming out. Uh, I guess we'd say twenty twenty four. Yeah, yeah, I'd say I'd say early twenty twenty four. Yep, absolutely. Hell yeah, Please, very cool. And thank you very much. Oh, it was a pleasure. Thank you guys for hanging. I appreciate it. Maybe we can do a follow-up down the road uh, when the album's out, and uh, sure. we can talk about it. We can pick it apart a little bit and talk about it. That's cool. I can. We can reveal more. Yeah. We Thank can't. Re- there's a lot of stuff that's going on that we can't really talk about. Like, I, we already got the cover art done. Secrets. It's all shh. So I totally I understand. When it's time, we'll know. When it's time. Yes. We, we appreciate that, man. <laughs> yes. Thank you. For sure. Hell Please. Yeah. You guys have been great, man. Thank you so much. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I, I want to make sure I say it correctly. Cent, centenary. Centenary, please. Centenary. centenary. Okay. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the fellas in Centenary. Hell yeah. Let's go. Cheers, boys. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band Smokeout.